and thank you for pressing play on this diabetes strength training workout at home. I'm Caroline Jordan, certified health and fitness coach here to teach you how to use movement as medicine. On my channel, you'll find a variety of diabetes exercises at home workout videos to help you normalize your blood sugar and live well. To do this at home strength training workout, all you'll need is a couch and a pillow. If you don't have a couch, you can use a chair pushed up against the wall or do all of the exercises on the floor and I'll show you those modifications as well. As always, you'll want to check with your doctor or healthcare team before starting this or any exercise program. Honor your body, move mindfully, and stop if you feel any pain. And if you like this video, you also will enjoy my exclusive Diabetes Exercises for Weight Loss workout program which includes exclusive full-length workout videos you can do at home to lose weight, manage your diabetes, and feel amazing. I've included links for where to find my exclusive diabetes workout program in the description box below, so if you like that video, you'll definitely want to check that out too. To do this video, we will be moving through 10 different exercises for 50 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. I'll let you know each exercise during the rest interval so that you're ready to go when the work interval begins. Let's grab your pillow and get started for our first interval together, which is a couch squat with your pillow. Are you ready? I'm going to start that rest interval now. We have 10 seconds to get ready. Let me show you this exercise. Grab your pillow between your hands. You're going to squat down, reach the pillow over your head. Stand up, squeeze the pillow, squeeze your butt. Let's start. So we squat and reach and lower down. Now when you squat, I want you to keep your knees behind your toes and I'd like you to lightly touch the couch behind you with your glutes. Just lightly, don't sit down. That's what we do after the workout. So squeeze in on that pillow, brace with your core and smile because you know, smiling helps with everything that's hard. Good. When you stand, squeeze your butt a lot. Keep your tummy in nice and tight. You should be feeling your heart rate go up just a little bit. This is our first move of our strength workout. Stay with it. Keep breathing. Whew! I'm feeling this. 50 seconds is tough. Oh, yes. All right, rest. Place your pillow down. Next, we've got a couch, high knee, march. Face your couch, tummy in tight. Ready, go, march. Now, I included this exercise in our strength workout today because it's actually a single leg balance exercise as well as something to get your heart rate up, help you break a sweat, and get prepared for the rest of the work that we have planned in our workout. Stand up really tall, think about great posture, and breathe. Now, I'll show you from this side also. You can tap, you can also do this without the couch, like so. We're working a lot of balance in this workout today. So stay with me, keep breathing, and think positively because attitude is everything. Good job. You've got eight seconds left. Stand up nice and tall, shoulders down and back. Next up, we have our lunge, and I'm so excited. Rest. Take your right foot forward, bring your left foot on top of the couch, shoulders down and back. From here, you're going to lunge your hips down and back towards the couch and stand up. Begin. Down and up. Now, if this is your first time doing this workout, every exercise will be new. So remember, the more you repeat our workout together, the better you'll get at it. The human body is amazing. It adapts to the stimulus that you give it. So when you do this workout consistently in your life, you're going to get used to those exercises, you'll get stronger, you'll feel healthier, and it's just all around good stuff. Right now, you should be feeling your butt muscle. Make sure you keep your knee behind your toe, abs in nice and tight, breathe. 50 seconds is a lot. You're doing great. You can always do a regular lunge without your foot on the couch, all right? Great modification. Breathe. Whoo! This is burning. All right, switch sides. So one foot forward, the other foot goes on the couch. Make sure all of your weight is in this front thigh. Shoulders down and back, feel that hip flexor stretch in the back leg, and begin. Down and up. Now again, if this exercise is a little too much for you today, 
want you to do a regular lunge, like so. Here, totally great option. Until you're ready to build up to our couch lunge. This is a lot of balance, it's a lot of single leg stability work. It's a lot of glute strength done properly, which I know you're working on form. Stay with me, breathe. Oh man, this is tough. I feel this. We're gonna give our lower body a break here in just a second, so don't you worry. Those legs are feeling things. That's a good sign. Stay with me, Bulgarian lunge on the couch. Look at you doing awesome things today. Whew. Oh yes, I love it. Oh, thank goodness that bell couldn't come soon enough. Couch push-up is next. You bring your hands on the couch, you step your legs out, and you're gonna give me a push-up. Ready? I'm gonna go this way. You can see my booty. Here we go, down and up. Now, again, if you're newer to fitness or just starting your fitness journey, feel free to bring your knees on the floor like so and do your couch push-up. There is nothing wrong with modifying. Meet your body where you're at, Make it count today. I don't care what variation you do. I care that you feel good and that you keep moving forward. So keep that couch push-up going. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your butt. You have 22 seconds left. Breathe. Whew, upper body is feeling this. Working hard, doing good. Keep encouraging yourself. Say nice things to yourself. You can do it. I believe in you. Keep it up. Four seconds. Abs tight, tummy in, whoo! Oh my goodness, couch hip thrust. So I'd like you to bring that pillow in between your knees, shoulder blades on the couch, lift up into a bridge, squeeze the pillow. Now, from here, lower down, bring it up. Keep squeezing that pillow. Now, if going down and up, a little too much for you today, why don't you just hold it up? Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your core. Press down through the floor with your heels. I love a good couch hip thrust. Really works the butt. It is great. And not just the butt, but the abdominals as well. So, you're getting a lot of muscles with one movement here. You wanna look at that pillow, squeeze in on it with the inner thighs, keep breathing, and again, you can always try a static hold at the top if moving in and out of the position is too much. Rest, couch plank, here we go. Pillow down. Now you're going to bring your hands or your forearms on the couch, like so. Step back and hold. If you have any wrist sensitivity, you can lower down to the forearms here. I want you to squeeze your butt hard, press through the couch and breathe. I also want to take this moment right now to acknowledge you for showing up today to do something positive for your health and well-being. And it's not a small feat to make time for movement, to make time for yourself. So way to go. I'm proud of you. I hope you're proud of yourself as well. Stay with it. You've got 18 seconds left. Squeezing that butt, squeezing the core, breathing and thinking positively about yourself, your health, and your future. Stay with it. Seven seconds. Whew! That's a hard workout. Who knew a couch could be so tough? Ha! Huh. And there's that bell. Okay. Man, that was rough. Let's do some tricep dips. Fingertips point towards the toes. Shoulders down and back. Lift up off the couch and dip down and raise. Now, if this is too easy for you, you can extend your legs straight out like so. Okay? I personally prefer the bent knee version. I feel like I get more range of motion in my tricep dip. Again, if this is too much for your wrists, you can sit here and extend back with your arms. All right, lots of options. I always like to provide a million different ways to work the body on my channel so that you can meet your body and its personal preferences, move well, and feel good. Stay with me. You're doing right. Keep it up. Good job. Oh, my triceps are on fire. Wow, this is rough. Whew. Hang in there. And where's that bell? Let's go, bell. Okay, done. Inner thigh squeeze with abdominals. So take your pillow, squeeze it in between your thighs, lean back on your couch, hold on, ready, and raise the legs. Now, with your legs raised, push in on that pillow. 
Feel your inner thighs and your abdominals work. If you want to make it harder, reach your arms out towards me. Even harder, reach your arms up in a V. Good. Remember, smiling is very advanced. <laughs> I always think it makes the workout more fun too. Use those inner thighs to push in on that pillow. Breathe. And remember how awesome you are. Hang in there. We only have one more exercise to go. Kind of sad that we won't be hanging out longer together. That's why you should definitely check out my diabetes exercise program because then we can do more fun things together as a team. Stay with it. Squeeze on those inner thighs. You got this. Breathe. Two. And rest. All right, our last exercise together is a pillow bicycle Russian twist. So squeeze that pillow, use your upper body, lean back on your couch, and lift a knee and twist, switch. Little Russian twist action for you here. If it's too much to add the legs today, what I'd love to see is just here, twisting, rotating side to side. Sitting up nice and tall, like the king or queen that you are. Good, 30 seconds left, breathe. Shoulders are down and back. Smile, sweat, glisten. It's fun to do strength training. You don't need a fancy gym or expensive equipment. You can use your body and get fit where you're at. So there are no excuses. You can move at home, doing some strength, feeling awesome. Good job, use that waist. You can do it, hang in there. Activity. Oh, that's our timer, rest. Let that pillow go down to the side. Let's take a quick stretch together. So hands by your sides. Inhale nice and big. Good. Exhale. One ankle on top of the other knee. Flex the toes back. Feel the stretch in the hips. Hinge forward from the waist. We worked the thighs a lot today. Worked the glutes with that hip thrust, the couch lunge, the couch squat. Let's switch sides. We work the abdominals with our V-sit, with our push-up and our plank. We work the arms with our triceps and planks and push-ups. So you got a total body strength workout, all from the comfort of your lovely couch. Good. Uncross the legs. One more deep breath in to celebrate how awesome you are for completing this workout. Inhale. And exhale. Give yourself a round of applause. You, my friend, have just completed a strength training program at home. I am so very proud of you for completing this workout, and I want to hear from you. If you like this workout, leave me a comment below and make sure to hit like on this video. And if you can, share this video with someone who you feel could also benefit. For more exclusive diabetes at home workouts, check out my Diabetes Exercises for Weight Loss program. The link is in the description box below. Great job with this workout, my friend. I'm so very proud of you, and I can't wait to see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.